All right, where's my pen? All right. Here's a Venn diagram. It doesn't look like it because it doesn't have ovals, but it is. It's a Venn diagram of the types of numbers. And so um, let's take a look at what's going on here. So we've got um, all the natural numbers we've seen. That's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, Right? And then the whole number. So really this green part just adds in zero. Right? So this is not to scale. The sizes are not right. Right? And then we add in all the negatives, which creates the integers, which is good. Um, but then, hey, well then we're like, wait, wait a minute, what about fractions? And so that we have what's called the, um, the rational numbers, and that's all of these things in here. And so you're like, wait, are those fractions or decimals? Well, fractions are decimals, unless the decimal does not repeat and goes on to infinity. And if that's the case, then it's irrational. Okay, and in fact, this is not to scale because in fact the irrationals is a set that is infinitely larger than all the rationals. So there's a lot more irrationals in the universe than there are rationals. But um, anywho, for now, oh, and then if you want to research further, this uh, Venn diagram also talks about imaginary numbers and complex numbers. But anyway, let's take a look at what type of number is, let's say, um, the number... Uh, 5. Is 5 a natural number? Yep. Okay, and then you might be like, alright, we're done. Well, wait a minute. Is 5 also a whole number? Oh yeah, it's also a whole number. Okay. Well, is 5 an integer? Oh yeah, it's also an integer. Right? So you have to understand how the Venn diagram's working. It's inside all of these. Is 5 a rational number? I'm sure, because 5 could be expressed as 5 over 1, right? Or maybe you could have a restart later on the computer thing came up again. Oh, my God. No. Okay. Uh, 5.0. Just think of it as 5.0 or 0, 0, if you need to think of it as a decimal. So, in fact, yeah, 5 is also a rational a rational number. Okay, so that's five. So five actually is all of those things. And then all of these all together make up the real numbers. So it's also a real number. It's not an irrational number though, because it it's decimal expansion eventually ends or repeats because it's just five point zero 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 Anywho, okay, so let's think about another thing. How about like square root of 2? Well, what type of number is square root of 2? Well, we've seen square root of 2 is an irrational number. And that's one of those things that made uh, the ancient Greeks, like Pythagoras and all his uh, folks, they kind of freaked out about this because numbers were very mystical. And then they're like, wait, it can't be written as a fraction. Here is say, off with your head. Um, so that is irrational. And it also is part of the real numbers. Okay, so I'm just, these are a couple examples of types of numbers and how they get categorized and where they go on this types of numbers Venn diagram. Hopefully this helped. Rock on.